Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Hello Infinite game crashing at startup or stuck on loading screen, not launching, lagging or showing black screen error on PC. So let's go through it. So the first method is to check system requirements. This is an important step you should follow for that. You simply go to Steam and the store page. Here you need to find the game. Here you need to search the game and then go below. And here you can find the system requirements. Whatever the game requires that is minimum and recommended. Check it and after that try to play the game and see if you can play the game. If not, the second solution is to restart your PC or Steam. For that, simply go to Steam over here, click on Steam option and then click on Exit. After this, click on the Windows icon over here. Now, click on Power and then select Restart. This will restart your device. After your system restarts, now try to launch the game and check if this solution works. If not, the next method suggested is to verify integrity of game files. For that, go to Steam click on the library section select your game right click on it click on properties click on install files and here click on verify integrity of game files after verifying the game files now try to launch the game and check if this solution works next is to run game as administrator for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and from here click on browse this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed Simply select the game application, right click on it, click on properties. Here click on compatibility and then click on run this program as an administrator and then click on apply and ok. If this works then fine, otherwise click on run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then click on select windows 7 or you need to select windows. Windows 8 is already selected, you need to click on windows 7 and then try to launch the game if it doesn't work then simply click on disable full screen optimization then click on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and check if this works if not the next is to update graphics card make sure your graphics card are up to date for that go to the search option over here search for device manager click on it after it opens go below expand display adapters Select the graphics card, right click on it and then click on update driver option and after that click on search automatically for drivers. This will install the latest drivers on your system and after that try to launch the game and check if this works. Or else I have also provided the link in the description from where you can easily download and install the latest drivers on your PC. The next solution is to modify launch option. For that go to steam under library section select your game. Right click on it, click on properties under general you can see launch option over here you need to type minus dx11 and then check if this solution works if it doesn't work then type minus dx12 and then see if it works or else you can also type minus windowed and then try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you next is to disable in-game overlays for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties and here you need to disable this option enable the steam overlay while in game so simply disable it and then after that try to launch the game and check if it works the same thing you need to do for geforce experience as well launch it click on the gear icon and then click on general and finally switch off in game overlay for discord overlay simply go to user settings game overlay tab and from here disable the game overlay option next is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the search option over here search for windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature after that click on change settings now search for the game over here if it's listed then well and good mm, let me search see if it's it's listed over here but if in your case if it's not listed and simply click on allow another app and from browse section you can add the game to the list and after that click on add so here it will be added after that make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok 
and after that launch the game and check if it works now next is to check the dlc issue uh, disable any installed dlc packs on your pc as they sometimes lead to crashing or not launching error this can somewhere cause performance issues so you should try to disable it if it is enabled so for that what you do need to do is simply go to steam under library to select your game right click on it select properties and on the left hand side you can see dlc you need to it's already enabled in the multiplayer high rex textures so you need to simply disable this and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution works next is to disable third party overlay applications so if there is any third party overlay applications enabled such as nvidia shadow play or msi afterburner then you should disable it this can somewhere lead to unexpected issue while playing the game so it's better to disable those applications next is to check graphic settings of the game even the graphic settings that is by default setup is also necessary to check whether the graphic settings is high or low such as texture quality resolutions and other things that directly impacts the game so it's suggested to lower the graphic settings to avoid unwanted issue next is to close unnecessary background task for that click over here go to the task manager under processes tab search for the unnecessary apps that is running in the background and you also you simply select it right click on it and then click on end task option this will close the app that is running in the background and after try to launch the game and check if it works next solution is to update windows for that go to the search option over here search for check for updates option this will take you to the windows update interface here you need to click on check for updates option and it will check if there is any update available after you update your windows to the latest version now try to play the game I, hopefully this solution works so the next solution is to run game on dedicated graphics card for that you need to go to the search option over here search for graphics settings and here you need to click uh, add the app to the list as already i have added here so after adding the game gpu preference under gpu preference you need to click on high performance and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you if not you need to install visual c++ files for that i have provided the link in the description just go through it download and install the latest visual c++ files on your system and after that try to launch the game and check if this works if not the final solution is to reinstall the game for that go to steam go to the library section select your game right click on it click on manage and then click on uninstall option and after that again click on uninstall option this will remove the game from your system once done restart your pc once and after that again go to steam reinstall the game and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you so all these are some of the best solutions suggested to fix hello infinite game crashing or not launching or showing other kind of error so that's all for now in this video thank you